I'm absolutely terrified of flying. I haven't been on an airplane since 2016. I have a genuine phobia of flying. However, if I was guaranteed a show like you're about to see, blessed with a fucking public meltdown of this caliber every time I'd get on a plane, I would be the first one in line at the TSA to get fingers up my butthole so I can get a great spot on the plane and watch this shit happen. This is glorious. So you're about to see a frat boy lose his mind after going two beers deep. He just gets a little sloppy. You guys fucking suck! My parents are worth more than fucking two million goddamn dollars. And you know what? You fucking suck! Meet Maxwell. I think that name fits him perfectly. It's like straight out of South Park if they had a douchey character that bragged about their parents' wealth. They just slap on the name Maxwell because it fits. He's just the quintessential failed son who only lives off mommy and daddy's money, just constantly suckling on their teats for the rest of his life living in their shadow. If I was watching this video muted, I would assume he was bragging about his parents' wealth. The kind of guy that's like, hey, fight me, but if you do, my dad's gonna sue you. And he also works for Bungie, so he'll get banned on Xbox Live too, nerd. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! You know what? My grandpa is worth more than one fucking place. Like, fucking attorney! Shut the fuck up! To catch you up to speed on the lore here, Maxwell has ordered two drinks. He's gone where no man has gone before. He's two brewskis deep in here, and he's feeling it. He's fucked up. Also, he apparently had a little bit of an accident. He spilt on his shirt, and Mommy forgot to put the bib on him, so he had to go to the bathroom to change, came out shirtless, and one of the flight attendants offered to help get a shirt from his carry-on. After Maxwell was helped get into his new dinosaur t-shirt, Maxwell said thank you in the only way he knows how. With sexual assault. He allegedly groped her chest, and not just the one flight attendant, but another one as well. So in Maxwell's fucking caveman brain, he thought honking titties was the optimal way of giving his thanks. So it sounds like Maxwell may be entering the no-fly list, but might have a future at Activision Blizzard. Hey! 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 Nope. The conclusion to this video is one of the best I've ever seen, actually duct taped to the chair, like a mummy getting fucking mummified and thrown into a sarcophagus. Absolutely spectacular. I couldn't be happier with the way they handled this, to be honest. I don't know if this is by the book, like standard protocol, but if it isn't, it should be. How to handle a reckless, dangerous passenger, just tape them down. That, that sounds remarkable. So, this is where the video ends, but it's not where the story stops. Here's a bit of the story here, the cliff notes, as well as a beautiful mugshot of Maxwell in all of his glory, with one of the most punchable faces I've seen in quite some time. This isn't some small thing, it's not like he's only going to be banned from this particular airline, which was Frontier in this case. From what I was reading, assaulting flight staff can carry up to 20 years in jail, or like a $250,000 fine, which to Maxwell and his extremely wealthy family might be nothing but pennies in the bucket, you know. Maxwell's an extremely successful leech. I'm, I'm sure daddy and the five cars he sold at his dealership can probably get him out of that fine, but 20 years in jail... Well, that's nothing to scoff at. This just happened. This is some fresh, stinky news right now. So they're still investigating. All of the involved party members from the, the flight side of things are being interviewed as well as getting everyone's statements. So don't know exactly how this is going to all wrap up in this anime. Though I do imagine none of it's going to be a good outcome for Maxwell. Uh, this just goes to show you, if you're one of those fucking douchebags who brags about his parents' wealth, you are destined for a life of utter failure. You will end up like Maxwell, two beers deep and ruining your life over nothing. I also don't have anything against Maxwell's parents, because if they truly are as wealthy as Maxwell thinks they are, where they could just, like, own all of Frontier Airlines, they're certainly not sharing any of that wealth with Maxwell. He's flying coach 
on the cheapest airline in the entire U.S. I'm pretty sure Frontier has the cheapest tickets available, and he's flying coach there. So if his family truly is that wealthy, they're not helping him out that much, and I respect that. I think that's great. So yeah, pretty wild story. I always love to see a douchebag get taped to a fucking chair in a plane, I guess. That's pretty incredible stuff. It's like that scene out of Casino Royale when James Bond starts getting his nutsack blasted on uh, after he's taped to a chair. Uh, so it's great. Uh, fucking wonderful. That's about it. See ya.